The officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. So for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! The raised stakes and opposition level were not of any concern to Rhiannon Dixon. A world-class boxing display was turned in by a fighting pharmacist who is now a threat in an already stacked lightweight division. Dixon effortlessly prevailed in a 10-round decision victory over Katarina Thanders in their EBU lightweight title fight Saturday on the zone from the OVO Arena Wembley in London. Scores were 190 across the board for Dixon, who is now 9 wins, 0 losses, 1 by way of knockout, and who is trained by former WBA lightweight titleist Anthony Krola. Crossroads bout saw Dixon put her superior skill set to immediate use versus Thanders, a former title challenger from Spain by way of Oslo, Norway. The Southpaw jab set up straight left hands and body shots for the 28-year-old Cheshire native who rarely caught any damage in return. Thanders, 16 wins, 2 losses, 2 by way of knockout, entered the fight best known for her challenge of then unbeaten WBC junior lightweight titleist Terry Harper, who scored a ninth round stoppage in their November 2020 meeting at this very venue. The 35 year old Norwegian won three in a row ahead of this meeting, all in eight round affairs versus lesser opposition. Dixon was on a far different level though. She reached a point where she abandoned a body attack and focused squarely on landing heavy leather upstairs. Thanders took the punches well, but also shut down her own offense to defend against the incoming shots. A right hook landed squarely for Dixon at the start of round nine. A right hook landed squarely for Dixon at the start of round nine. Thanders tried to respond, but was kept at bay by her opponent's long jab anytime she came forward. Dixon bounced on her toes and positioned herself to land a straight left hand late in the round. Thanders was well down heading into the final two minutes and braved an onslaught from Dixon to get off her own chopping right hands at close quarters. Dixon returned to the body and dug a left hand before coming up to the top with a right hook. Thanders tried to respond but was consistently beaten to the punch until the final bell. Dixon advanced to nine wins, zero losses, one by way of knockout as she went the 10 round distance for the first time in her promising career. It came on the heels of her lone victory inside the distance, a sixth round stoppage of unbeaten Vicky Wilkinson on March 11th in Liverpool. All right, guys, well, staying on the topic of all things matchroom, former amateur standout Jimmy Sainz enjoyed a successful pro debut with a third round stoppage of Poland's Stritschek. One and one, zero knockouts. No knockdowns were scored, but the Tony Sims trainer Sainz bloodied the nose of Strychek in round two and unloaded a barrage of punches before referee Bob Williams stopped the bout at one minute, 20 seconds of round three. All right, guys, well, there you have it. What did you think about Rhiannon Dixon's performance? this evening. Uh, we thought it was a great performance, actually. You know, she she dominated the entire fight. We we like her. We like her. We definitely think that there's a bright future ahead of her. Now, the only problem is in the lightweight division, all four belts belong to one person, and that person is Katie Taylor. Um, so, ultimately, that would be the goal opposition for Rhiannon Dixon. Um, they are both uh, promoted by matchroom so that would be an easy fight to make down the road um we don't know how much time left katie taylor has in the sport but um what do you think a fight would look like between rhiannon dixon and katie taylor down the line um and if not who do you want to see rhiannon dixon fight next so let us know in the comments below guys you can find us on instagram at sportbox tv official x formerly known as twitter at sportbox tv and of course don't forget to like comment subscribe and also share the vid we appreciate all love and support Take care.